Hey everyone, today we have an exclusive first look at the Garmin Vivo Fit, and we're going to check out some of the features that it has in comparison to some of the other fitness bands available on the market. So we have here six different devices from the bottom up. They are the Garmin Vivo Fit, the Polar Loop, the Nike Plus Fuel Band, the Fitbit Flex, the Jawbone Up, and the Misfit Shine. First thing that I want to show you on these fitness bands is the display. Now the three here on the bottom have a much more pronounced display than the three along the top. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll start with the Nike Plus Fuel Band. It has a large button there on the side. I can press that to wake it up and I can take a look at hours, time, and fuel. And I can scroll through those different menus, take a look at my metrics. Now the Polar Loop has a button on the side as well. So I can press that to wake it up and I can view step, time and how much of my activity I have fulfilled for the day, view some information on there. And then finally, I have the Garmin Vivo Fit down here at the bottom. And I can wake this up as well. And I can see the distance that I've traveled today, the calories that I've burned, the current time, my heart rate, if I have a heart rate monitor connected to it, how many steps I've taken, and the steps that I have remaining today to reach my goal. The Vivo Fit is also unique in that it has a visual indicator warning you about inactivity, which is that red bar you see along the top. Now the three on top are much more minimal than the first three that I showed you. The Fitbit Flex has a few lights in the band that will light up, same with the Jawbone Up, it's got a light in the band. And then you have the Misfit Shine, which is kind of designed like the face of a watch. What you do is you tap it twice, and it will light up with how much of your goal you've completed. So there's two lights there out of the 12. So we've reached two twelfths or one sixth of our goal for the day. So if you're looking for information on the go, the bottom three are definitely going to give you a lot more than the three on the top. Looking at battery life, the Vivo Fit and the Shine are far and away the leaders. The Vivo Fit has the longest battery life out of any of these. It actually has a battery life of one year and it has user replaceable batteries. The Misfit Shine is in second place with four months. So second place has only one third of the battery life as the Garmin device. Now the last four here are all recharged via USB and those will last anywhere between three and 10 days depending on the device between when it needs a charge. If you're going to be using these in water, again, the Vivo Fit and the Shine are going to be leading the charge. They're both submersible in up to 50 meters of water. Next, you have the Polar Loop, which you can use all the way down to 20 meters. The Jawbone Up, which can go down to one meter. The Nike Plus Fuel Band, you can wear while you're taking a shower. And then you have the Fitbit Flex, which could probably withstand a quick splash. Now, a lot of these do have things in common, too. They can all transmit data wirelessly, except for the Jawbone Up, but there is a different Jawbone device available, the Jawbone Up 24, which is newer, and that will transmit wirelessly. But they can all do that. They can all measure distance or steps, or they can measure both, like the Vivo Fit. They can keep track of calories that you've burned, and they're all going to offer you sleep metrics, with the exception of the Nike Plus Fuel Band. But out of all these features I've told you about, the Vivo Fit isn't lacking in anything. It has the best battery life, you can take it to the lowest depth underwater, it measures steps and distance, it'll do sleep metrics. Most of these others are missing at least something. You can't use a heart rate monitor with all of these like you can with the Vivo Fit. The Polar Loop will measure your steps, but not your total distance. The Fitbit isn't really waterproof, so if you are looking for the complete package, the Garmin Vivo Fit is going to be the best way to go. So that is a quick comparison of features between some alternative fitness bands and the Garmin Vivo Fit.